activity. Pole dancing. <laughs> um, now. Gecko. Gecko. Excellent. <laughs> uh, okay, last one. Uh, man's name. Antonio. Antonio. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Nora Elizabeth Jameson Durst, age 417, <laughs> was vaporized by a consortium of international physicists last Tuesday outside Never Never Land. Miss Durst was born and raised in Cairo, Egypt, mm. where she returned after college to squeeze a family. <laughs> her spiffy husband, Doug Durst, and her beloved geese, Jeremy and Aaron. Admired by her co-workers, she was a longtime employee at the Department of the Sudden Diarrhea. That's disgusting. <laughs> In her spare time, Miss Durst enjoyed crosswords, exposing frauds, and pole dancing. <laughs> <laughs> she is survived, at least temporarily, by her terminally ill gecko, Matthew Jameson. <laughs> As she lives on in our memories and in the great Antonio in the sky. <laughs> there will be no funeral or memorial service. Mm. Oh, God bless Matt Libs. I couldn't ask for a better obituary. Happy to oblige. You sending me those things is what got me through hellfire and damnation. The horrible Bible camp that Grandma and Papa used to send me off to in the Adirondacks. It wasn't hellfire and damnation. It was Camp Holy Spirit. Potato, potato. <laughs> you were so young with the pigtails. Mm -hmm. What were you, eight years old? Mm, seven. Do you remember what you said to me when you put me on the bus? Brush your teeth. You said... You said that I was the bravest girl on earth. And every time you sent me a letter with a new mat lip in it, that's who it was addressed to, the bravest girl on earth. I forgot about that. You drive me fucking nuts. But you've always been a great gecko, Matt. If I was a great gecko, I'd be trying to talk you out of this. You're great because you're not trying. scared. I'll be fine. Of course you will. You always are. I'm scared of what'll happen when I go back to Mary. And I'm scared of the chemicals they're going to put in my body to try and make me better. And I'm scared it won't work. I'm scared of dying, Nora. I'm scared my son will grow up without me. Forget my face. Forget the sound of my voice. But most of all, I'm scared that I'll survive. Because if I do, how can I ever stand in front of a room full of people and convince them that I have the answers when I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about? Do you want to come with me instead? I think, dear sister, that defeats the purpose. What are you going to tell people about me and about what happened here? Whatever you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> 